Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you a very special weapon variant in Modern Warfare. I do believe it is a PlayStation exclusive variant, I could be wrong, but what I've heard from different sources and videos is that this is a PlayStation exclusive weapon variant and that is the Jack Frosty. It is a SCAR variant. It's a very different SCAR variant. It's sort of a smaller, smaller and down sized SCAR. You'll see when we get into the class up about it. But you have to go ahead and complete these seven challenges. It took me ages to figure out how you actually unlock it. You basically go all the way down to the bottom. It's the very last challenge that you will see. And you have to get 50 kills with an assault rifle uh, with a sniper scope equipped. You can do this in one game of shipment if you, if you, you know, if you go off, if you have a decent game. Uh, I did it in one game of shipment. A lot of these challenges uh, you can do in one game of shipment. Um, I mean, shipment is literally a saviour when it comes to challenges in this game. Weapon challenges, camo challenges, these challenges. Honestly, you can do them so quickly. Literally took me a couple of hours. But anyway, on to the second challenge is play five matches of co-op survival mode. I didn't actually know what this was. Uh, if you're back out on multiplayer, go into co-op and there's survival mode. It's that mode there. It's basically like if you played Modern Warfare 3 where you have to su uh, survive against waves of enemies for a period of time. Uh, as long as, well, for as long as you can. Uh, it's basically that, it's very easy, I literally just down myself, nobody seems to be pretty decent in that mode, sorry if you play it, but I didn't come across any decent uh, players. Um, you get 10 point blank kills using an assault rifle, again it's a game of shipment, you get up close as you will be anyway, point blank kills, easy. 25 kill streaks. the way I did this, obviously 25 kill streaks. some people might seem like a lot, like it's going to take me ages. Put on hardline, put on the personal radar, two kills and you'll get it. That counts as a kill streak, obviously. So it literally takes no time at all. Two kills, two kill streaks. All it takes. Um, but what I did, I had personal radar, the UAV, and the cruise missile. So in four kills, I think it was four or five kills, had full streaks. So if you get a five kill streak, you've got full streaks. That's three streaks to call in. You can do that multiple times a game if you're having a decent game and whatever you're on shipment or whatever. No time at all. Five headshots using the 357, which is the Magnum. Uh, easy is easy again, you know, a game of shipment, uh, five headshots, no time at all. Uh, five double kills, self-explanatory, very easy. And 75 kills with the operator SID is selected. If you go into your operators and you see SID, I think you can either unlock it through the battle pass like I did, um, or kill five juggernauts, um, I think it's five juggernauts. Basically, when you're doing the co-op survival mode at wave five, there'll be a juggernaut. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Uh, very easy. Uh, or, I'm not sure if I'm mistaken, if you go into the trial mode, um, the heavily armed trial, you are a juggernaut, but juggernauts do get do come in there and it literally lasts five minutes, each one of them, and there's, jugger there's a couple of juggernauts in each one. Uh, I'm not sure if I did it through that. Honestly, I have one unlocked and I don't know how, but I was told you have to do juggernauts for it. But anyway, on to the class setup. Hopefully, you guys don't struggle with them challenges too much. I didn't. I don't think you should either. But they are pretty good, pretty easy. This is it, the Jack Frosty class setup, and this is the class setup I'm using. Uh, these are the attachments I'm running. As you can see, it's a very small and down uh, AR. The thing is with this, uh, the scar in general, the magazine size is very, very small. It comes to 20, 20 bullets. Not a lot. You're pretty much reloading after every single kill. But I've got the Forge Tac Pro Barrel. Uh, aim down sight speed and movement speeds increase. If you're watching previous videos, you know why I'm so big on that kind of stuff. Um, in this game, it's massive. The collapsible stock, again, movement speed, aim down sight speed is increased. Fully loaded perk, you run out of ammo so quickly. Stippled grip tape, again, aim down sight speed. Sprint to fire speed, which is huge in this game. The sprint to fire speed is huge. Uh, and I've got the um, Commando 4 grip on uh, for just help the recoil, you know, make it a little bit more accurate, which it does help because this gun is. Uh, quite inaccurate to be fair um, but yeah that's the class up it's a really insane gun it handles a lot to, quicker than a regular scar you know it's be a lot better close range it does sort of struggle at long range because of how inaccurate this thing is but uh, once you can control the recoil I'm sure you'll be able to be fine but anyway guys we're gonna hop straight into a game right now we're gonna try out the Jack Frosty hopefully we can have a decent game let's do it okay guys we've joined a shipment game a little bit late I've been searching for a game for so long that wasn't shipment and I've not been able to find it and it's literally the most annoying thing ever. I'm just gonna have to play shipment. Nice little free kill to start things off though. Honestly this gun I've been trying to get a gameplay with it for a, for a while now. Um 
and just nothing's been going my way. It's very hard to use on the bigger maps, to be honest. I've been playing just general, general core uh, for the simple reason I don't want to keep bringing shit in gameplays. But I mean, we'll see how this one goes. One at Bloodfest right now. I haven't actually died. I want to see. Oh, we've got a VTOL. This could actually probably be the game. I've been getting so stressed. We've got a VTOL though. Hopefully, we can push this advanced. Seems to just be spawning around me right now. I'm going to call this VTOL though, because it's only a TDM. Yeah, let's call it VTOL. There we go. Hopefully we can get the advance and just hopefully we can't we don't die. Oh my god, let's get Oh man. Oh man, this kid didn't kill me. Let's go. Oh, this kid's spawning in front of me, we're on a merciless. Ten and oh right now. I mean I've not unlocked many Oh look at this guy. But yeah, I've not unlocked uh, many attachments for the scar. Uh, I've never really used it apart from when I had the Tiger's Eye variant. Oh my god. Um, so I've not got the best best of attachments on this thing, so it is still inaccurate. I hope it's a bigger magazine size. I've got a lot of the 25 mags, uh, 25 round mags, but still just don't seem to be enough for me. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, triple kill. Let's go. Camping in the crate like that. Oh my god. There's another one that just keeps spawning in that crate, which is not fair. I've got a VTOL in the air. It's, it's punching me to death. Jesus. We're having a decent game though. I'm happy with it. Honestly, this variant looks super clean. When I first uh, seen it uh, in the uh, challenges with having the blue camo, I thought it was another laser gun variant. Unfortunately, it's not, which would have been cool if it was. But cut the wall, triple kill. I mean, this is what I mean about the small mag. I could have so many more kills, but there's only 20 bullets in this thing. Still tearing it up, though. I mean, this is spawning right in front of me. Wow. This game has literally lost two. Jesus. 24 kills, literally two seconds. I mean, I don't want to say I'm carrying the team right now, but I mean, it is looking that way. Up close, this thing's a monster. I mean, it's just the ammo output. If the ammo output was bigger on this thing, what the hell? Get RPG'd, man. Um, whoa, do oh, I thought I got a 3 and 1 there. No, it's just 1 and 2. 1 kill and 2 kills. Nice little 4 piece to end the game. Jesus. Honestly, the scar up close, 28 kills. I think I died like 3 or 4 times. Honestly, up close, this thing is a beast. It's so, so powerful. It's just, oh, we got to play the game as well, that little RPG kills. Uh, it's just a range, it is very challenging to use, but I mean, honestly, nonetheless, it's such a great weapon. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby. Um, honestly, the SCAR is such a great weapon. It's, you know, if you want to just try a new weapon variant that looks pretty cool, then go for that one. It's, it's free. It's obviously a lot, well, mo all of them you have to pay for that look pretty cool. Uh, apart from that one, that's the only cool one. I'm not sure if it is a PlayStation exclusive, so if you do play an Xbox, let me know down in the comments below if you've managed to unlock this or if you have the challenges unlocked. Uh, it literally takes a couple of hours, if that, and you've got yourself... Oops, pressing buttons by mistake. Uh, it literally took a couple of hours and you got yourself a nice little cool variant that not a lot of people have. I've never really come across this in-game, to be honest. I don't think many people know about it because you, know, you don't get told. Uh, which is a, which is a shame. I know which the challenges were like. I hate the challenges how they work on this game. I have to activate them and stuff. Cause, I mean, it's annoying. But anyway, if you guys are new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And if you do uh, like the video, make sure you do smash that like button as well. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.